Hi all, um, my name is Eddie and uh, I'm gonna just show you how to flash um, the custom 404 uh, for Wolf Breaks uh, Gingerbread on the Xperia X10. So here I have mine which has got, uh, I don't know if you can see it properly here, anyways it's the 3.7 build, uh, it's running 2.3.3 and uh, yeah so let's get started first I've downloaded um, the a few files into my SD card already and I've backed up using titanium um, backup backed up all my um, apps and uh, user data so um, yeah that's, that's the first thing you need to do and uh, we're gonna reboot and Okay, so first I'm going to reboot uh, into X recovery. X recovery. Um, I've already made a backup as well using that, so this is just a reboot after that. And we're going to show you the steps one by one. I'm going to be using the custom um, firmware, actually the stock ROM for this, the kernel and now we're just waiting okay so as soon as you see the Sony Ericsson logo I'm gonna keep pressing the back button and there we go okay so now we're in X recovery and uh, first thing we're gonna do is a factory reset full wipe okay I don't know if you can see it very well yes Okay, next. Cache partition. And then we're going to go to advanced options and wipe div lag cache, the first one there. Yes. Okay, and uh, this is where you can wipe the battery stats if you're having problems with the battery. So, anyways, we're, by the way, I'm pressing and uh, the menu and the back button for this. Okay, so now we're gonna go to install custom zip and go to our directory in the SD card. Mine is in the gingerbread, and it is the Wolf Gigabyte 2.3, um, the version 4 basically is what you need. So, I'm gonna hit yes. Okay, so after it finishes, we're gonna um, reboot by um, actually taking out the battery. So I'm gonna, while we're here, so take out the battery, phone is off, and uh, okay, so I don't know why, but uh, the Flash Tool version 3 didn't work for me, so I'm still using the 2.1, 9.1. So here it is, you hit Flash and uh, you get this screen so I'm using only the kernel baseband for it okay and I hit OK and then on the phone I'm gonna connect the cable and make sure my battery is here and I hit the back button and then I just you see that I'm gonna insert the battery and the flash hole should pick it up right there it did uh, you can let go of the back button by now so it's flashing
if you have any problems uh, you can just um, redo all of these steps and if you have more problems then I would recommend you use the PC companion software and just um, you know redo the whole entire thing again um, you can reroute it afterwards for these steps you gotta make sure you have unknown sources and debugging turned on and um, yeah so there you go uh, it's done flashing actually right now so what we need to do is uh, turn the device on actually just you can unplug it Turn the device on. Previously with the, the 3.7 ROM I had about a minute and a bit to, when the phone was starting. So I'm gonna test how fast this one does it afterwards. Um, after I apply the 4.04.0.4 update. I'm gonna use the stock one because I just feel like Weaving Wolfbreak is saying that um, it's as fast as the custom one. And I want uh, Xloud and Bravia as well. It's good to have, even if you don't turn it on. Right now it's asking me for the language. Let's go to settings. Okay, so as you can see, it's Wolf Break version 4 and running 2.3.3 Android. Uh, mine is actually X10A, but it's showing X10I. It's no problem, I've had that for a while when I was running the 3.7. So anyways, I'm going to turn the phone off. Um, let me see here. Reboot into X Recovery and install the updates 4.04 Point, sorry, 4.0.4 S for stock and um, alright so there it is we go to install custom zip choose the zip I'm gonna go into my directory and there it is update 4.0.4 S Yes, I believe this will not actually wipe any data, so this is based on what the forums say. And there you go, it's done. So I can reboot. Um, I'm actually going to do the rebooting just to see how it's working. I'm actually trying to see how long this takes, and uh, I'm doing this for the first time, so I'm not an expert, by the way. Alright, so, so far about 35 seconds. That is much faster. Basically half the speed. So there we go. You have the add-ons there. Check it out. So about 2.3.3 on X10. And there you go. It's 4.4.0.4 S. Alright. And it does seem a lot faster. Um, so I'm going to just hook up a couple of things and try to get my backup from my data ready and as you can see the battery icon is right now the regular one and I actually want the circled one um, and uh, as far as I can tell sound settings we don't have the um, xloud or the Bravi engine for this display so I'm gonna set up these and I'll be right back so there you go. Now I am basically um, reinstalling my apps using the um, titanium backup and it's saving me a lot of time actually. So right now I, um, I installed the program. You do have to log into your Google account. Um, I logged into my Facebook one as well. And um, then, um, oh shoot, damn. Okay, so yeah, so you do have to log into your Google account in order for you to um, uh, download this application, the Titanium Backup. So I did that and I downloaded it and installed it and um, now I'm running the restore, um, which is restoring all my previously installed apps and what have you. 
and then I might uh, actually try to install or um, restore the data as well for all my system apps okay so I'm just gonna keep doing this I have about 73 apps missing apps from this installation and I'll get back to you okay so I've um, gotten my titanium back up to restore some stuff I did however notice a problem um, not seeing my Arabic support the text support is not showing the text or um, well, the language is there but the text is actually not supported or something so I might have to revert back for that anyway so I'm in um, X recovery again and I'm gonna install custom zip Oops. and I'm gonna go to my directory gingerbread and I'm gonna choose the um, battery mod the circle one and I'm gonna go install okay the xloud in Bravia 4.04 4.0.4s sorry I keep messing up with that so we'll see once that shows up okay that was kinda odd with the loading here didn't show properly and I'm gonna reboot I should mention that I'm not responsible if anything goes wrong with your phone I'm only doing this as an experiment for myself and if it works well then it's good for whoever wants to try it and uh, I hope it works for you too hopefully better than it works for me it might take longer because I just installed a couple of add-ons that weren't on this so that might be it with the 4.4 update um, I think it, it actually makes it faster for the booting and after installing the, the battery mod and the Xperia Xloud and Bravia engine it might have slowed this down because we're actually past a minute and 15 seconds now so if anything I might actually install those two add-ons um, and then install the 4.04 update okay as you can see I had a bit of battery left and the battery mod is actually not installed so that's not very good for me anyways uh, let's go to the settings so it's still showing the 4.4s and um, okay so let's see display Yep, right there. The Bravi engine is installed. And for sound, X loud is there first thing. So I'm kind of bummed about the battery mod well, not working. Uh, maybe there's a different uh, update for it. I'm using um, the one that's uh, version 006. So I'm not sure why. And. Um, Aside from that, actually, there's this Edit Tweaks app that was here, and it has some battery options which are not bad. So, for example, I can. I was hiding this, but you can show it. It's a small percentage, or the regular, which I had. You can append any text you want to it. So, or append just battery text by itself um, there you go so you can have that as well and you can change the color uh, it automatically changes the color or yeah there's these settings for it um, there's also the clock and signal options which are nice um, lock screen is disabled not sure really why um, but hey I definitely love this alright Anyway, so I hope somebody found this useful and uh, cheers.